Many online videos claim to be educational, but upon closer inspection, they're primarily entertainment. This arrangement benefits all parties. Viewers enjoy the illusion of learning while having fun, and the creators benefit from the increased viewership while playing around with often flashy ideas, even if it's not always factually rigorous. But I feel that real learning isn't meant to be fun. It should feel like effort. It should resemble a serious gym session more than a 10-minute full-body workout from your favorite digital media creator. You want the mental equivalent of sweating. It's helpful to clearly define your intent up front as a sharp, binary choice in your mind. When consuming content, ask yourself, are you seeking entertainment or education? One should ask the same question when creating content. Is it entertainment or teaching? The reason I say often is because there are times when entertainment can act as a trigger for future learning opportunities, like that time when you read a book as a teenager and that inspired you to study to become an astronaut. Unless you are trying to learn something narrow and specific, if you really want to learn, close the multitude of tabs filled with summaries of summaries, the Learn XYZ in 10 minutes videos, and think about the opportunity cost of snacking on superficial content versus opting for the substantial meal. The research papers, your textbooks, the forgotten manuals, and their long-form updates. Allocate a few hours per day, and do not stop at simply reading the damn thing, but also engage with the reading material. Take your notes, rephrase, and put the material in your own words. Manipulate, process, and categorize. On the other hand, if you are not that motivated and purposeful with a specific goal, you may keep in mind that the sum of the most rewarding and transformative learning experiences often happen when learning is not the primary goal, but rather a byproduct of pursuing something meaningful and authentic. Education is an organic process. If I am obsessed with something, I will spend all of my day researching the hell out of it and learning about it. Oftentimes, academia tends to eliminate this creative discovery endeavor by forcing young people to be part of a program that's asking for streamlined completionism. Learning can feel enjoyable in an active, participatory sense, where the learner finds satisfaction and fulfillment from the process of deeply understanding difficult material, even if it requires significant effort and struggle. Bottom line, here's how you can approach the path to expertise by following a project-based learning, teach to learn, and focus on your growth framework. Instead of a broad, shallow approach, where you attempt to master an entire field at once, one can tackle concrete projects in an iterative way, learning the necessary skills as you go. Explain what you've learned in your own words, either to a friend, your family, or some random person on the street. You may do this verbally or in writing, as oftentimes writing can be seen as crystallized thinking. This clarifies your understanding and helps solidify the knowledge. Measure your progress against your past self, not others. What gets measured, gets managed. You'll be making good progress on a problem, then suddenly feel like you've hit rock bottom. You will start thinking about it while you are in the shower. You will be obsessed with it. Also keep in mind that you cannot be productive all day, every day. You need time to rest and reassess. That's an important one to keep in mind so you don't burn out and abandon the thing altogether. If you want to get more physical, try taking up an instrument. You'll see how much concentration it requires if you haven't played one before. Welcome to the dojo of perpetual learning. Class is always in session, and you're both the student and the sensei. Now go forth and learn like your life depends on it, because in this wild, weird world of ours, it just might. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.